we're back with another humble bundle asset review here's a sneak peek of what we've got in store for you i hope you like our in-house band Right, now all the silliness is over. Humble Bundle's got a new bundle. Humble Bundle has a new bundle. That is a tongue twister. The Gigantic Game Dev Asset and Tools Mega Bundle. I'm pretty sure they're running out of adjectives. Gigantic, enormous, massive, whatever. We've had them all. This one is a little bit different. So this one is £26.89 minimum. And it goes to support Girls Who Code. It has animations in and environments, which we're used to but the big one here are the systems so there are four systems in here there's the scalable interaction system there's the hyper time management system the outline and symbol system and the footstep system and hyper meshed icon creator is kind of a system as well but it falls on the edge a little bit there are multiple animation packs in here so there is uh, the morbid motion animation and poses there are swim and guitar animations and then there's the saxophone and trumpet set there's also farm animals and farm animations as well but these are low poly animations slash uh, characters so you probably move the animations to somewhere else to make them on high poly there's a bunch of environments on here both stylized and normal there's a few props on here roman statues post uh melee weapons so what we're going to do is we're going to look at all the animations and all of the systems and take a look at a few of the environments pack a couple of bits about this though the rocket the engine plugin that's a free plugin that's already there that's more of like a way of getting them from the cosmo store which i'll show you in a bit and then you've got this one month subscription and a 50 cent discount code on Cosmo. Now the Cosmo store is where you redeem most of these assets. So you would need to create a Cosmos store, Cosmos store, whatever you want to call it. And then what you do is go to your inventory. Make sure you're on the newest, select an asset, click redeem by fab, and then you'll go to the fab redemption portal. Now, the majority of these have got a fab redeem code, but some of them do not. And the ones that do not are these ones that I saw, Roman Temple, Asian Temple, Mystic Dungeon, Hatchback, Tribal Car, and the SFX and the VFX, which is a little bit misleading because the Humble Bundle itself says that they do have a fab professional license. So that is a little bit mm, about it. A lot of these are first time on Humble Bundle, but that doesn't mean that they are first time uh, being on sale at all for the fab and stuff. And a couple of these assets I did already have as well. So have a look through, make sure that you're getting your money's worth. But let's dive into it. So first off, this is the swimming animation pack. So we've got all the swimming stuff here, including a cool little corkscrew. Is that what that's called? torpedo so they are both in place and root motion you can see we've got surface animations and uh, non-surface animations like diving animations and stuff and what is this one cutting knife so there's some unique animations as well as we've seen with the torpedo we've also got diving and going up as well and this is the saxophone and trumpet pack on here I used this animation in the beginning. I thought it was pretty cool. It was pretty funny. And this is the trumpet one. Now you don't get the meshes for these for the trumpet or the sax. So I had to find and download my own. Next, we're going to take a look at the guitarist pack. This one's pretty cool. It's got some nice, unique animations, uh, power slides and stuff. This is the one that we used for our intro. And there's lots there. Although the hand placement on these is a little bit something to be desired. So we've got all the guitars, not just rock guitars, but we've got acoustic guitars as well. And walking and movement with them as well. So that's cool. Next, we're going to have a look at the morbid animations, which are all sort of morbid death animations. As you can see, dropping onto spikes and being put away into death positions 
and there's some more as well here for you. Some cool zombie ones here. I like these. It's a cool little scene. Not for the faint of heart. If we take a look at the animal scene, so we've not just got animals uh, like skeletons, there's also animations too. So all these turning, all the run forwards, all the walking backwards, walk forwards. So it's all just locomotions and then some eating animations as well. And idols, hit react and death. And then we'll look at Farmer Tom. Farmer Tom has some more unique animations as well. And it is or should be, I believe, on the UE5 skeleton. So it's on the uh, Unreal skeleton. So you should be able to retarget all your other animations to it and also from it as well. So that's very good. We're going to look at the Hyper Time Manager system now. You can see in the top corner of the settings of the time. Here we are just changing the unit and night and setting the time dilation to something else. But more useful than that is the actual bed itself. So press F to sleep and it will let you set how long you want to sleep to. And there we go. Here we are in the footsteps by hyper system. So yeah. I'll shut up so you can hear it. That's the shallow water one. And then there's all sorts of different footstep sounds. The thing about this that is quite nice is there's equals. So this is the snow one. You see our footprints are in there as well. And it changes based on if you jump on it as well. So this one's a very small component in here. So the footstep system is just a component with a couple of blueprints for water. So that's quite nice and seems simple and easy to use. Okay, so now we're in the outline system. So you can see all the different outlines and the different symbols bouncing above heads as well. How each event works. I'm pressing the left mouse button to activate those. And this is just the outlines. It's got a component and you add it to your character. Jobs are good in. We can take a look at the scalable interaction system now. So again, this is just a component you need to add and some BPIs that you need to add to whatever you want to interact with. Here we are pushing some buttons. Interaction system, fire trigger boxes. And then we got a hold. And all of these say they work best in first person. So you move your mouse up and down to move the switch up and down as well. And then same for the crank. Just rotate our mouse and it cranks. Not a huge fan of that personally, but some people will like it and then interact with the fire. And then finally, we've got the mesh to icon creator. There's our apple. We zoom in a bit and then we can generate an icon. Then the icon gets saved. Saved in the icon generation. So now I have this apple. So we're just going to look at some of the landscapes. I've got the medieval Italian uh, town loaded up here and we're just going to have a quick little run around it. Lots of uh, modular stuff in here as well see 
these buildings. And now we're going to take a look in the stylized asset pack. So here we've got the stylized pack. Not a much of a showcase level on here, but still quite a nice little pack. You can see what it's about. So the gigantic game dev asset and tools mega bundle, £26.89 for 67 items. How do we feel about that? It's nice to get systems. The systems are good. I would rate the system sort of a eight slash nine out of 10. My concern, not concern. My thing about the systems is they're pretty simple. I like, these are basic systems that most people should implement and that should already have in their game for the most part. So it, how much is that going to move your game forward? I don't know, but you could take the code and learn from it in a, in a better way, potentially. Animation wise, we're looking again, probably an eight, the swimming animation holds a lot of value here. The guitar, the trumpet, the morbid ones are all very dependent on what you're trying to do, but the swimming one has way more functionality in there for it. Environments, uh, I'm never a big fan of loads of environments and Leartis slash Cosmo does environments pretty much every other month. So there's a good range of environments here and it's good that most of them are first time on Humble Bundle. So that makes it a seven, uh, seven or eight out of 10 for environments. If you've had have done a lot of Humble Bundles, the chances are you've got a lot of these already and that probably drops it down to maybe a four or a five. Uh, out of 10. The models in terms of the guns, I know we've not checked those out, but I can normally find guns and stuff for relatively simple. There is hoops to jump through this asset pack. I don't have to redeem them on Cosmo and then put them into fab. That's a pain in the butt. So ease of use is a little bit funky and the SFX and other stuff are locked to Cosmo. So you got to remember that in there. The tools that we've not looked at, I've not done too much on those so i can't comment on them but in total i would say this is a solid eight nine out of ten in terms of value depending on if you had many of the assets before as always a thank you to my members now we have three members we've got dev danny diggs we've got imagine bravery and phoenix studio our newest member welcome aboard thank you so much for your support guys and if this is something you like then drop a comment if this is something that you don't think is worth the money, then let me know as well. Always happy to talk game dev. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next one.